hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be doing the makeup tutorial for this look that I am wearing. I'm in the percent of the population that likes blue eyeshadow. Now, yes, I think it can be done badly, but I think if you do it right, it's really cool. And yeah, I really like this look, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I'm going to show you how I got this face. So to start off, I just grabbed this Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Face Primer, and I just think that it really smooths out the texture of your skin um, as a good base to apply other makeup over. And maybe it's all in my head, it could be, but I feel like it works. Um, I just smooth it all over my face. I use one pump and I make sure to cover my eyelids as well. Then I grab this turquoise shadow pencil from Urban Decay and it's just really easy to use. Um, I'm just going to glide it on all over my eyelid and up into my crease just the tiniest bit. And it just goes on like a crayon. Then I just grabbed a sticky note and I placed it at an angle in order to form a cat eye shape using the pencil. And this is actually one of my favorite makeup tools because it helps to stop eyeshadow fallout and it gives a really straight line. Then I just grabbed this flat shader brush and this Jimmy Kid eyeshadow which is a really pretty blue. It's the color must have and it has some glitter in it which actually looks really awesome on this look. And I just used a padding motion to kind of place the eyeshadow in my outer corner as well as up into my crease and then I kind of did a little bit of rubbing just to make sure that it's going to blend out easily. Then I just grabbed this pencil brush, and a pencil brush is always great for placing color precisely where you want it, especially in the outer corner, which is what I'm gonna do with this matte black. And it's just really nice to deepen up the look with. I'm gonna place it in the cat eye and in the outer corner, like I just said. Um, it's pretty simple and basic. Next, I'm gonna take this massive fluffy blending brush from Sigma, and I'm going to be taking this with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. And this is a great combination, not only for setting that eyeshadow pencil, which is what I'm doing first, but it's also a really great way to blend out eyeshadows with translucent powder. And it's one of my favorite tricks for doing makeup. Then I just grabbed one of my favorite pencils, and it's very cheap. Um, it's just this muddy brown eyeliner pencil, and I love this for the waterline. And I'm just going to be applying this to the outer corner of the waterline, um, about the outer half or third, whatever you want to do really, it's up to you. But um, I'm not someone who likes to wear eyeliner on my entire lower lash line and I don't know why, I just cannot get into it. This is a good fix for me. So then I just grabbed this liquid liner from Urban Decay and I love liquid liner but I really like the ones that have a brush and this brush is extremely thin which is awesome for getting really precise line. And it's also really black so it's just a great overall product I think. And I'm just going to be lining my lid very close to the lash line. Make sure you get really close to those lashes. And I'm also going to be winging the eyeliner out. And then I'm just going to connect it and make it kind of thick on the outer corner. Then I took this shader brush from my collection. But honestly, I think any type of brush will work for this. And this one's actually from Walmart. So that's awesome. And then I went into the Sleek Au Naturale palette yet again. And I'm just going to be taking this matte white. And it's really nice and pigmented. And I'm placing this on in the inner corner, under the eye a little bit, and up under the brow bone. And it's just a nice way to brighten up the look, as if it's not already bright enough. <laughs> Next, I grabbed that trusty NYC lash curler of mine. And who says you can't get good eyelash curlers at the drugstore? I think they're pretty great. Uh, I like this one, and I'm just going to be curling my lashes. Then I grabbed this Urban Decay Super Curl Lash Mascara, which I think is awesome. I've been loving it lately. Um, I've been wearing it about every day, and it has a pretty cool brush. It's just great at lengthening and defining, and I am all about that length, baby. So I have just been putting it on my top and bottom lashes. Here I'm just applying it to the top lashes, and I think I put a couple of coats on, not just the one you're seeing here, and applying it to my bottom. I like to concentrate the most mascara on the outer corner and then apply just a little bit to the inside lashes. Then I grabbed my Real Techniques blush brush and there's actually no blush on it. I'm just making sure that there wasn't any eyeshadow fallout and just getting any of blue product off my cheeks. Next onto the real blush, I grabbed this Tarte Cheek Stain. It's a trusty favorite of mine. It's very old. Um, I should probably get a new one actually, but don't tell anyone. Um, it's a watermelon color and I really love it. I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks and it's looking a little scary, kind of like a doll right now, but I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. Yes, that's right, with my fingers. 
and it works pretty nicely. It's a good method I've got. I like to apply this under foundation sometimes just because it makes it a little bit better. So here's my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And I actually really like using this with the MAC 187. It's just a stippling brush, but the bristles are really sparse, I think. So it provides a really light coverage if you apply it the same way that I do. And I just squirt a little bit onto my hand and then dip the brush in it, stipple it onto my face a little bit, and then I do a really fine swirling motion. I'm just barely touching my face with the bristles. And I just kind of repeat this process over and over again. And it kind of is lengthy, but it provides a really nice flawless yet light coverage, if that makes any sense at all. And you might be wondering how with that large brush I am able to get into the nooks and crannies of the face. But I actually use a different brush. I take the Real Techniques Precision Foundation brush, and it's really nice for areas like the nose and under the eyes, you know, around the mouth, anywhere you want to be super precise with the foundation. So I will just use that brush kind of to get an even coverage there. I'm applying this really pretty Your Lips But Better color lipstick. It's the 17 lipstick in Beehive, and it's just a really pretty glaze-like texture, if that makes sense at all. I don't know, I love the color and the finish of it, and it's just a nice neutral to go along with a bright eye, I think. And last but not least, to set it, I'm using the All Nighter Urban Decay Spray, and it's just a nice alternative to powder, I think, just to make your makeup last. And that is the finished look, guys. There you go, there's a close up for you. So that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you wanna see any other tutorials from me, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know, I have, I've done, this is my, I think my second one recently. And um, I really actually like filming them now. I used to not, but now I love filming them. And I think they're just really fun. So if you want to see more, let me know, guys. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, my username is at MalloryThinks. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Bye.